A few years ago, you could fill up your car with gasoline that cost 24 or 25 cents a gallon. That same gasoline today will cost in the 50s or 60s or maybe even 70s, depending on where you buy it. With the price of gasoline sharply increased and with the prospect of eventually running out of petroleum resources, we asked residents of Jasper, Tennessee, if they think the federal government should be spending more time and money researching possible other alternatives for energy. Yes, I definitely do if I feel that we're ever going to have a price control on inflation or gasoline or anything like this, I definitely think that they should be spending more money for this than uh, what they're doing. I really do. Oh, well. Okay, you think that uh, what they're doing right now is okay? Yeah. No, oh, the government should stay out of all sectors of that. That's the problem now. You think that's why? The government's meddling in everything, and that's the reason America's in the shape it's in now. And we are in bad shape. Well, it looks like we got us being a thieves in Washington. Yes, ma'am. And why do you feel that way? I feel like we need lower prices. Okay, and uh, anything in particular? What kind of what kind of energy are you talking about in this situation? I mean, electricity and gas and, and food. Well, I think they ought to do something about it. It's too high, ain't it? It's way too high. <laughs> I think it ought to be lowered. I think taxes ought to be lowered and, and electric bills, stuff like that. We found most of the people we spoke with in Jasper to be very much concerned about the price of gasoline and other energy-related products. And almost everyone we talked with said they'd like to see the government spend more effort and money, if necessary, researching other energy alternatives. For Tri-State Opinion, I'm Dale Pandelis.